everybody. Hey, everybody, and welcome to Socially Awkward Sundays. I know I haven't been back here in forever. Don't mind my ratchetness of hair. I was very dumb and forgot my blow dryer at home in Toronto when I was visiting home, so I have to get a new one. Whatever. Hashtag gay problem. One of the reasons why I really wanted to make a video again, uh, one is because I want to get back into it, is it is YouTubers now, it's how you fall out of it, but I really want to get back into it full time, part time, sometime, yeah. This past week, I had a very, 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 very weird experience on a dinner date with my boyfriend. Where do I start? I was at this place, uh, Cassie Le Glock. So we walk in, me and my boyfriend, you know, happy. It's a bring your own wine place. So we brought our own bottle of a nice rose. Nice rose. And we get seated down quite close tables to this elderly lady, probably in her 70s, 80s. It was that alone. So we're, you know, ordered our food. She kept glancing over at us and we're like, okay, a little weird. And she leans over, and in French, I didn't know, but my boyfriend is French, so he knows. And she basically asked to try our wine. I'm sorry, but that's rude. Like, would you go up to someone's table and be like, hey, can I have a piece of your pasta? They'd be like, um, oh. so it's weird. But anyways, we're trying to be nice, so we gave her a try, like a taste of the wine. She keeps glancing over at us, tries to start conversation, asks us what we do. Then she goes and starts talking about her nephews and how she misses them and about her fat, 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 fat sister in Toronto. And I'm like, hey, woman, like, I don't want to talk to you. And it's hard because we didn't want to be mean. It's like a lovely lady, you know? She leans over and she goes and asks us, do you ever wish that you were a girl? Uh, no. Dude, like... One, no, I don't. I do. Two, who the hell asks that question? So I try to kind of ignore her, and my boyfriend's like being polite and trying to just have a casual ish conversation. Then she kind of shuts up again. Then she goes, walks around the restaurant, comes back to the table, sits down again, walks around the restaurant, comes back to the table, sits down again. I really don't get this lady. Is she on drugs? I don't know. Then she goes and she's done with the glass of wine that we gave her. She like leans her, leans her glass over. She's just like. For like two minutes. Then she finally asks, like, can I have some more? And I look at her and I'm like, no. So she kind of shuts up and then she goes to us and she's like, oh, don't talk bad to us. Don't talk bad about me. Like, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, woman, well, like, you're, you're kind of creeping me out. And then she goes and asks me and my boyfriend and she's like, oh, do you feel sexy in your skin? Excuse me? What? What? So I say to her, excuse me, I think that's a little inappropriate. She's like, oh, beautiful? Do you feel beautiful in your skin? And I'm like, what? Then she goes and stares at me and she's like, oh, guys your age are so handsome nowadays. You know, the ones that are tall with long legs. And if you don't know, I am six foot four with very long legs, so I was a little creeped out. I thought this woman was gonna like, she was sexually harassing me. Like, oh, people who know me, I'm very hard to be sexually har harassed. Like, I'm, it's not even the worst of it. Then she goes and she says to us, had sex with a woman before? Uh, my boyfriend and I are literally looking at each other laughing because we thought we were on a freaking TV show. Like, a, like, like, oh, what? So she leaves, finally. The waiter comes over, laughing, and he's like, haha, to me, haha, she wants to take you on a date now. I look at him and I'm like, huh, not really funny. He goes, yeah, she's a hoot, she's here a lot. The guy literally sat us down beside her to see what would happen because there was like 15 other tables he could have sat us at. But no, he sits us down beside a crazy lady to see what would happen. It was just very rude. Not good. I don't look at old people the same anymore. They're supposed to be sweet, innocent people, and now I feel like she wants to have sex with me. It's scary. That's it for today. Um, I'm gonna be back with some better stuff, but I thought I just needed to share this story. And this is a true story, I swear. But I needed to share a story, and 
As always, well, as now always, remember that any day above ground is a day worth living. Yeah. <laughs> Peace out, guys.